Morning everyone. Um, right, today I've decided I want to tackle um, mixed media morsels. Um, I can't tell you what number it is, but um, it's the doodles um, prompt, whatever, what morsel, whatever that is. And um, I'm taking my inspiration from some doodle pieces that I did ages ago. Um, these are some of the practice pieces when I first um, started getting into mixed media before I even thought about um, filming um, anything and these are just done on the backs of cereal boxes and these are you know just some of my practice pieces and I just absolutely love these. I mean these were just pure play. Um, if my memory serves me correctly I've used dilution sprays, certainly Posca paint pens not sure whether I've used Dilusions paint um, or not um, on, on these. I really can't remember. Um, but I've just gone to town. The stamps that I've used on these are primarily Claudine um, Helmuth um, stamps. Let me just, I've got a box here of, of stamps. These are the ones that I use most, most often. These are some of the Dilusions flower stamps. You've got here the Dina Wakeley. Um, and um, I've got some of the, the other Dilution stamps that came in a set of four. You've seen me use these. These are the ones that I use um, quite, a, quite a lot. So I shall be using some of those. Um, then I've got a couple of cheap sets that um, I bought from Hobby Craft. I think these were, whoops daisy, um, these are Craft Asylum. And I've got a couple of packs of these. I think they were reduced to three pounds. Um, so I'm going to be using some of some of these. Um, these sponge ones here are the, the Claudine Helmer ones. Um, those ones are so big I haven't actually got around to, to using those yet. But here's some of the smaller ones. So, you know, ideal um, for doodling. And they're already mounted um, on this sort of like plastic. Um, I've got some of the stamps that I made uh, myself as well that I've mounted on um, credit cards. So I'm just going to pick, pick and choose from, from this box here and hopefully come up with something as colourful as some of these. This one here is a later one that I did. And again, um, by the texture of it, I think I have coated this in clear gesso because it's got sort of like a gritty feel but I'm pretty sure that again this is dilution sprays as opposed to um, the paint but I, I really can't remember it looks like um, the, the the paint but um, I've got sort of like um, a watercolour effect which um, looks as if I've used the sprays but anyway this is the kind of direction that um, I'm going off in so um, we'll have a play and see see where I end up Right, first of all, I've got my Mod Podge at the ready and I've cut up some um, pages of book paper, um, just book pages, music paper, mixture of that. And I'm just going to glue um, this on to the, to the page just so that I've got a bit of interest um, in, the, in the background. I bought these new brushes at the weekend as well that I picked up for a pound in, um, in Hobbycraft. trying to think what I bought in there. Not not much to be perfectly honest. Um, I bought some Sennelier paints that were on offer for, for £2 each. Um, I'll have to have a have a look and I'll show you. I'll do a haul video. I've bought a couple of bits and pieces recently. I've had um, some buys that I've had um, on eBay as, as well. So as I say I'll do a do a haul and show you what I've purchased. Well, thanks everybody who supported me yesterday during sort of the oh, mad moment when um, a bomb had gone off at um, Shanghai Airport. Um, many of you will know that Sam, um, my youngest son, um, is on his way back from China um, today. In fact, he's due to land in a, in a couple of hours time. But they were at the airport last night and we got notification that a bomb had gone off um, in Shanghai Airport. Um, and it was all very vague for a while. I just want another piece of paper to go there, so bear with me. Um, it was all really vague at first um, because there were no timings. And I presume that it's because the Chinese censor so much because um, reading between the lines, I think the bomb had gone off earlier on in the day. But they'd only um, announced it at the time that Sam 
had arrived at the airport so we were frantically trying to get hold of him I think four people were injured um, in the end but um, I don't think anybody was um, killed fortunately um, but yeah it was a, it was very very scary and then of course you can't rest once you, you rationally you know that it's the safest form of travel and that nothing is going to happen but I don't know um, when it's your child your mind just works overtime it's just just ridiculous um, so we were trying to rationalise it, thinking he'll be fine, he'll be fine. And then we finally heard from him. He must have um, sent a message via, via Kick. It's one of these programmes, don't ask me, um, that he'd been using to, to contact us um, whilst he was he was there. And we got a Kick message saying, I'm, I'm fine, um, what's wrong? So I would imagine that they are totally oblivious to the fact that um, that anything was um, was going on, <laughs> we've heard nothing from sort of any of the teachers, and they've been as good as gold. They've been emailing um, the whole time um, that they were out there. Right, that will do nicely. These paintbrushes are losing bristles all over the place, so um, those are not very good. Um, right, okay, so I'm going to give this a quick blast, and then I'll um, then I'll come back. Right, I've got some colours of um, the Dilution sprays, and I'm just going to have a quick squirt and put some um, some colour on. Uh, what colours am I using? I am using Calypso Teal, Fresh Lime and then I've got Lemon Zest and then I just want a little bit of, um, of the funky, is this Funky Fuchsia? Funky Fuchsia and um, that's the one that doesn't work. Let's try another one. I must give that one a clear out. Right, there we go. So I am just going to grab a kitchen towel. And then I just want a little bit more of the Calypso teal on there. Okay, so I've just grabbed some of the Dilutions paints. Um, and I've grabbed the um, Cerise Pink, Fresh Lime, um, Vibrant Turquoise, and London blue and the white. And I'm just gonna get in there with my fingers um, and add, add a bit of paint. Add a bit more down here. So no rhyme or reason, just adding it really where I feel like it. Sort of blending the colours um, in. There we go, we'll have a bit of a now my pink has gone a bit um a bit gloopy. In fact I could add some where's my spray bottle? There it is hiding. If your dilutions does go um, a bit wet I think the um advice was to just spray it with a with a bit of water just to get some water content in there in there again now I've put so much water in there it needs to mix properly and I can't uh, let's have some pink over here that's uh, fine I just want to try and cover up some of this text um, a little bit more so that it's not quite so in your in your face. That's gone a bit muddy there, so we'll just put a bit more a bit more on. Well, the weather here is just absolutely horrible. It's rained all weekend, as they said it um, would. And today, in particular, it's just absolutely tipping it down. It's it's just grim. I took Alex. Alex hasn't got any exams today, so he's gone to the library um, to revise. And um, oh gosh, it was tipping it down, sort of on the on the way there. Not very pleasant. The traffic was just absolutely um, awful. But hey ho. <laughs> and as I say, Sam gets in um, in. I think his plane lands in just over over an hour so I should be really glad to see him I would imagine he'll be absolutely shattered because they'll have been traveling for quite a long time there we 
go and I think I'm going to leave that leave that be now it's like a big rainbow doesn't it there we go I'm just going to give that a quick dry um, and then I'll then I'll come back in fact I just want to I'm happy with that so I'll give that a quick dry and then I'll, I'll wash my hands and then I'll come back right I have dried this um, it's not completely dry but it's dry enough and now what I want to use in fact let's grab um, an acrylic stamp block I want to add a flower um, here and I'm going to use my fuchsia pink stays on um, ink I've just stamped it and then doesn't have to be a perfect image because I'm going to paint it in um, anyway. There we go. So let's just put the lid back on the on the stamp pad. Stamp that off on my mat. Whoops, Lizzie. There we go. That will do. Give this a quick dry. Want to, I'm going to grab my pink dilutions. Let's just add a bit more water to that. It's still really, really thick. A little bit of a mix. Can you see how lumpy um, it is? I mean, you can still use it, but it has got it's sort of like congealed. Right. Okay. So. I'm just going to use the, the stamp as sort of like, like an outline. Right, so. Doesn't have to be perfect in any way. This is just, you know, very, very loose and abstract. so that it's easy to, to get to. So I hope everybody had a, a good weekend and had better weather than, um, than we've had here. As I say, I'm fed up of, um, of the rain. I've had to wear boat shoes all weekend. My gardener was supposed to be coming today as well. When we did the hedge earlier on um, in the year, um, I think in the project hedge video that I showed, you could see sort of like a rockery that, that we had and um, that needs to be taken out. It's um, it's a bit of a, a mess. And for the last few weeks, we've every time that Mandy has been due, due to come to us, either something's happened at, at her end, um, Oh, telephone. I shall phone you. I shall come back right, in a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to add a bit of um, white um, to it now. Just to make the centre, whilst it's still damp, so that um, I'm just going to sort of add a bit around the outside as well. Just to sort of blend everything in. Pull that down. There we go, and that looks really cute. And then I'm just going to add some random blobs. I'll have some over here as well. I 
have a few down here I think as well. Just keep this page really, really random. There we go. Right, I've just put some Dilusions black paint um, out on my palette to my left hand side and I'm just going to use the Claudine Helmuth um, foam stamp. Oh dear me, sorry sorry about that, that was Sam, he's just, just landed. Um, so um, that they didn't know anything about the bomb at the airport. I'd suspected that that might um, might be the case. The, the teachers didn't um, didn't tell them, so um, so that's why um, we hadn't heard anything. But yes, he'll be back in a couple of hours. So um, I think two and a half hours he's due back at school. Yay! <laughs> right. So I'm just going to use this Claudine Helmuth stamp here, um, which I've loaded with some black um, paint. And I'm just going to put a row of these shapes right the way, right the way along. I love these stamps. I just think they're they're really useful to have in your stash. Hang on, let me just go over that one because um, it hasn't stamped very well at that end. That's better. There we are. So I'm happy, happy with that. And I think I'm going to have um, a couple down here as well at the bottom. I'll have another one. There we are. So uh, let's just stamp that off for my drop sheet in a few random places. Don't want to uh, waste the, the paint. There we go. Right and then what do I want to do? Um, I want to add, I think I'm going to use the, the lime green. I'm just going to add some lime green onto the palette now. And I just want to use this stamp now. I think I have one of those there. There we are. Stamp that off on my drop sheet as well. There we are. And then I want to add some of the um, turquoise to the green. And then I want my my leaf stamp. Oh, and I'm just going to add. Some of these shapes. Coming down like this. And you can see that I've got a good mix of all the colours, really liking that. And then I'm going to do the same over, over here. Mixing in some of the lime green so that it's not a total solid colour and that that's fine. Stamp this off on my drop sheet as, as well. Right now I'm going to give this a quick dry um, and then I'll come back. Right I've decided that I want to have another pink flower um, in the corner over here somewhere so I've grabbed the smaller flower in the set and again, I'm just going over it with um, the Stays On ink pad in the Fuchsia Pink again. And I'm just going to stamp in this corner. Now, let's see, I might need to just lift this up because I've got the spiral here just to make sure that I've got an impression. There we go, that's good, that's, um, that's good enough. So let me just stamp 
that off in a couple of places and then I'll give that a quick blast. And then I want to add the pink and see if I can get the pink to work. Yeah, I've definitely got to do something about this. This is just too, too globby now. Right, so let's... I mean, you can see that I'm still managing to paint with it okay, but it just feels not quite right. It's sort of um, lumpy. Now, obviously something sort of in the mixture that, um, that isn't quite right there. So just going over these flowers, turning my page um, to make it easier for my for myself. Well, that was such a relief to hear Sam's Sam's voice. So I've got his favourite um, favourite dinner. Um, Sam absolutely loves chicken um, stuffed with um, balsam cheese wrapped in wrapped in bacon. Um, so that's what he's going to be having for his dinner tonight. So um, he, um, we've had a couple of messages saying that the, f the Chinese food that they've had has been absolutely terrible. Um, they were warned before they went that um, the food might be a bit challenging. Um, but, you know, it's all part of the experience, isn't it? So I'm sure they haven't starved. I'm sure they've managed to find the odd McDonald's um, along the way. I'd be very surprised if, if they haven't. Right, so I'm just going to put a blob um, of white paint just down down here. So I want to do the same again for my centre, and then just add a little bit of white. So yes, I would imagine that Sam, the first thing he'll do when he comes in, is he'll open a box of um, breakfast cereal. He'll head straight for the crave. It's um, these hazelnut pillows. I'm sure you've all got similar ones wherever wherever you live. But that's Sam's favourite breakfast cereal. And he every night when he comes home from school, that's the first thing he does. He has um, a bowl of um, breakfast cereal. So I have no doubts that that's what he'll be heading for. Literally the second he he comes in. <laughs> oh dear. Let's add some more dots here as well use up some of this paint there we are right okay i'm going to have a dry of this and then we'll sort of have a think about what we're going to to do next right so i'm just going to add a little bit of white um to this here I like that and then I'm just going to add some white adding some interest there and then I think what I'll do there is do some doodles um, when it's all when it's all dry. Right I've got some smaller stamps out here um, these are the Claudine Helmuth ones and I've just put a small amount of the pink Dilutions paint just on my drop sheet here and I'm just going to put some pink flowers like like this in a couple of random places there we go they're not perfect, but that's fine. That doesn't matter. And I think I just want three um, of those. So we'll stamp, stamp that off. And then I've got um, my black paint back here. 
and I'm going to use, where's it gone? Oh, there it is. It's stuck to the table. I've just got the arrow stamp. This is one of the ones that I made myself. And I'm just going to use up some of this black paint and come in with a few arrows. Again, they're not perfect. And that's absolutely fine. There we go, and that's um, that's that. I'm going to leave that be, and then I want a little bit of white. Let me just. I've got another stamp here, and this is actually from a Christmas um, folk Christmas. It's a Do Crafts one, and it's got these little doodle um, stamp pieces in in here. Um, and I think those are really cute and I've just chosen one of those which I've just put onto a piece of credit card and I'm going to stamp a few of those as well. I'm just, put, I'm just putting a little bit of white paint here onto my drop sheet and I'm just going to tap it, whoopsie daisy, I've lost it. Now I don't want to... Um, too much. Let me just see what kind of. There you go. You see that's. Um... We'll just have a few of these stamped around. Again, they're not perfect, but that's absolutely fine. Perfect is not the look I'm going for here. It's just layers of um, of interest that I'm after. Whoops, and then we'll have another one. There. We'll have one over there. Perhaps one off the edge there. Can have some over here too. think I'm going to leave it at, um, at that so I'm going to give that um, a dry. Right, so I've got a little bit of um, white paint left um, here to my left hand side and you can see here that I've just grabbed a really thin um, brush here um, a number three and I'm just adding a few um, random dots like like this just again to add some more interest and just use up some of this um, this paint. And then we'll do the same over here. Just being really random about it. And then we can have a few down here as well. And then we can have a few over over here. And I'm overlapping, you know, some of the leaves and things that are on here as well, just to create layers. There we are. And then um, now, as I say, I'm just going to wait um, for things to dry so that I can go in and um, add some doodling. See, now I don't know when to stop. <laughs> I, just, I just love dots. There's something about dots that I just find really whimsical and um, cute. 
so you can never have enough can you there we are and then maybe a few over here too let's have a look but i just i just love the look of this and the black just um adds something really nice to it as well it just gives it a bit of bit of depth right so there we go yep i'm going to to leave that now so as soon as that's dry let's take that out of a minute so that you can see as soon as that's dry um we'll come back um with some posca and pens some white pens and we'll do a bit more um some doodling this is how my page is is looking now um i just love it i just love the colors um, so I just want to do um, a bit of doodling. First of all, I'm going to start off with um, sort of like a micron pen. I'm using the graphic um, line marker and I'm going to use a, quite a fine one. This is a 0.3 and I'm just going to go over. I'm going to start at the top and I'm just going to sort of really scribbly just add some doodle lines like this really loose and, and scribbly as I say um, and then I'll do the same with the with the leaves I do love the way um, that this is, is looking. There we go. And then we'll do the same sort of with these over, over here. Ooh. I'm not sure I'd do um, the same again using the Mod Podge um, with the papers that I glued underneath. I mean, for one, you can see very little of the text underneath here, but that's my fault because um, I put too heavy um, a layer of paint on so that you couldn't really see it coming through. Um, but also it leaves sort of like a plasticky finish and I don't like it. Um, I think next time and in the past I've just used a glue stick to glue things down and I would go back to, to doing that um, much better um, because you get so the matte finish of the paint and I don't like this um, plasticky finish as I say but it's done now and um, you know nothing I can do about it so we'll just go go with what we've got you know some of you might like the um, shiny plasticky finish but I don't know it's um, it's not for me I like I like the matte finish that's why I don't seal um, my pages sometimes because I just like them matte as they are. And then I'm going to there we are. Um, right, okay. So then I want a Posca paint pen, and I've got one of these that I know needs to be thrown away because it's um on its last legs and I'm not sure which one it is I do this every time there we go that one's okay so I'm just going to give this a blast with the um, heat gun first there we go that should do it and then again I'm going to do the same same thing Just love that just really loose and free and there we are And then 
to do the same, same over this here, like so. I'm avoiding going over where I've got the arrows just so that it looks as if um, those are sort of layers that I've put on top, which of course I did, but um, you know what I mean. There we go. And then I think I will go. Right, okay. And then I just want to add some uh, dots to the arrows. I should probably put this bit on fast forward and in fact I'll switch off and I'll go over all the arrows like this and then I'll come back and I'll show you where I'm going to go um, next. Okay so I've done a bit of doodling and I've carried on doing it um, off camera um, just because I'm conscious that this video is um, well <laughs> 30 minutes long before I'd even started doing um, the doodling um, and you can see that the, the main parts that you need to see is how I achieved um, the background and the doodling really is entirely you know free license and, and up to you. Um, the one thing I would say is um, and why this page works or at least I think it does um, is because I've continued using the same colour palette. I've used the um, teals, um, the greens, the blue and the pink and I've stuck with that um, throughout and then I've just added um, black and white and I've done exactly um, the same thing with, with Posca pens. I've stuck to blue, pink and green. And then I've added white, um, black, and then I've used a black um, marker as well. This is a new one that I picked up um, the other day, which is a Stabilo Right All. Um, I think I picked this up from the supermarket. Um, and again, it's a permanent um, one. I'm in search of that brilliant um, forever, um, don't need anything else, permanent pen. I don't think it exists. <laughs> but um, let me just talk you through what I've done. Um, you saw me um, add some doodling around um, the leaves and um, I added that in black and um, again in white. Um, then I've gone around the outside of um, the flower um, doodles. Um, let me just have a look, this stamp here. And I've gone around the outside just in a white um, marker. That's the thin Posca. That's the extra fine, um, which is the extra fine bullet tip that looks like that. Then I've added the pink uh, marker and I've gone um, inside. I've smudged one there yeah, and this is what happens. You'll smudge it. <laughs> I've, I don't think I've ever done one where I haven't smudged it. So I've gone inside with um, the pink there. Then I don't know whether you can see this line here. I've just gone and added more dots and this is all it is, is dots. Um, and a few crosses, um, that, that's all, there's no, nothing else to this. So I've added the dots then in the blue and again here. Then I've gone over just adding some really fine dots here, just like this and added those in a few random places. Um, some black random dots like, like this with the black Posca paint pen and exactly the same in the white. Wherever you like, just completely random. And then I've gone over um, with this Stabilo Right Saw and I've done some crosses in a few random places there, there and there and there. Um, that one's smudged, but you know, that <laughs> that's what it is. It really doesn't matter. I've added some more blue um, in the Posca paint pen again, just here, dots. And again on the leaves here. Um, what else have I done? Um, some green Stabilo marker inside um, the flowers, um, mixture of different side dots and that's some of them going over sort of, you know, scribbly like this. 
and then some of them just really fine um, just a mixture so I've done that um, around here and there um, and then oh some green dots as I say inside the the flowers and then finally, um, which isn't dry yet, I grabbed the Lime Green Dilutions Paint in Fresh Lime and I've just literally dipped my finger into the lid and I've gone over and I've just done a few random lime green dots. Don't know why, just felt like it. Um, so, um, so yes, I'm going to let that dry. Um, I just wanted another layer on the pink dots that I already had. And you can just keep going again here where you can see I've added some blue dots around here and a few lime green, some white ones on top. So it's just loads and loads and loads of layers, basically. And then where I'd got this um, blue poking through, I've added some some white dots. So it's just just layering loads and loads of layering. And in fact, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more blue dots here. Just feel that that needs um, a bit more there um, and I might add some more white and you can just keep going and going and going um, you know you stop when you feel that you've done enough free license here you know it's in, entirely up to you and this is all all I'm doing just adding loads and loads of layers and I think it's really nice when you sort of overlap everything so that you're not confining yourself to one specific um, piece, you know, leaf or what have you, that you overlap it and then it just looks so much more random. Let's add some more here. Add a couple of heart, uh, crosses where I've made a mess of that, that. And we might as well add some more here. But, you know, no rights or, or wrongs. Um, and those, I feel, have got um, enough colours um, anyway. And that's where I think I'm going to leave it for the time being. I've got this um, doodle strip here, which, again, I think is part of the Claudine Helmuth. And um, I might go and add some random dots in black um, later, but I need to let everything dry first. So we'll see see what that looks like. But that's... Um, how it's looking right now so I hope you like that um, I really hope that you give this a try because it's just really freeing um, and you know you saw my background and it looked really horrible um, to start off with um, but for me it was just getting I wanted the blend of the, the different colours so that I could add the different colour blocks um, on top so you probably thought I was completely mad and what on earth is she doing to start off with but I just I just love this Anyway, hope you give it a try and I'll see you all again soon. Take care for now.